Monfighthype.com here with Omar Super O Douglas. What's going on, man? I'm good, man. I'm doing well. I see you at the Roy Jones fight, taking pictures with the fans, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is my city, man. So you know, I had to come out and support. Right. How do you like the fame? Man? Uh, I'm having fun, man. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's just one of them things where I'm having fun. I'm enjoying this, the whole thing. Uh, me, myself, being a boxer, you know, the hard work is put in the gym, and this is kind of like, you know, this is kind of like coming to a party, you get to see get to see people and all that, so, and help promote my fight also. Right, you, uh, got, a, you got a fight coming up with Edna Cherry, it's yep, a pretty March, tough March comeback, 17th. man. Yeah, but I'm ready, uh, I've been working, and I learned a lot from my last fight in there with a very, exper a very experienced former world champion, and I felt as though the fight was close, and... There's a lot of things I learned. I would love to have a rematch. There's a lot of things I learned, and I don't, I'm not sure if he'll give me a rematch or not, but I'm moving forward in my career. I uh, see myself, I'm just trying to chase titles right now and uh, put myself in position to win. That's about it. Right. Now, speaking of, I have to go back in the past just a little bit to right. talk about your, your last fight. I'm not going to lie. Right. I had you up in that right. fight, man. Right. Uh, it, it was it was devastating right. to, to come out with a loss, man, it, close to your hometown. Yeah. I yeah. thought that you would definitely Ooh. get the decision yeah. in America, close yeah. to your hometown, yeah. man. But, What's your thoughts on that? What, what kind of takeaways did you bring away from a lot of stuff. Uh, we went through things. We went through little things uh, leading up to the fight. Stuff with gloves and a bunch of stuff. And him being experienced and him having an experienced team is what kind of got him over the hump. Uh, Wait, what do you mean stuff with gloves? Uh, we had a little issue with the gloves. He don't wear these ones. I like these ones. You can't wear these ones. So Edna, I'm not, no, Edna, not I'm Edna. sorry. Uh, Edna. Javier Fortuna. Yeah. He, he had a hit a problem with. With the gloves, gloves that you had. Yeah, but oh, okay. You know. Do you think that rendered your own. performance just a little bit? Uh, man, I think every little every little thing has to you know, like you have to take into consideration every little thing dealing with this sport. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's a it's a you know it's a business at the end of the day. Right. So uh, I wanted to do anything to make the fight happen. I right. mean. And uh, it was something I had to do for my fans and all that. They all came out to support, and I sold crazy tickets for the fight. And this is one of them things, like, I'm not going to let one thing get in the way of me making uh, a, a major fight or me making a life-changing. And right, that, right. that situation was a life-changing situation. Absolutely. Me. Uh, Absolutely. I mean, if I was First won, time on TV, right? Uh, third. Well, okay. Third. You were on Showbox? No, nah, I wasn't on Showbox. I was on Fox Sports. Oh, okay. A few yeah, times. That's my ignorance. So, uh, man, I just learned a lot from that whole experience. And if I would have won the fight, it's no doubt in my mind that uh, Al Heyman would have definitely got me a shot at the title. Uh, it's one of them things we had, had in discussions. Like, you win this one, this is the one. You feel me? And I feel like I feel like it's the same thing with this Edna Cherry fight. If you win this one, you get the you know you get a shot at the next. You get a shot at the title the next fight. So I'm just doing everything to cover all bases this time around. Not that I didn't last time, but on the business aspect, I learned a lot of stuff from the hobby after the fight. A lot of stuff. And uh, I just look forward to getting in the ring March 17th and letting that, let my fight speak for itself. Let my fight game speak for itself. Right. Now, I'm not trying to keep you too long. Right. But I have to ask, what do you think that Edna is going to bring on, on fight night on the 17th? Uh, He's, he's strong. I feel as I feel as though he's strong and he's gonna be there and he's gonna he's gonna definitely bring a good fight. He's gonna definitely bring the best out of Omar Super Old Douglas and I feel like uh, you're gonna get to see the best of me for real for real because I never I never once had a fighter press me. I'm always going out there and try to get fighters and, to exchange, uh, and to exchange and all that. But I know I've been watching him since I was a kid, watching him fight on ESPN. I'm sort of a fan, so right, it's a right. big it's a big fight for me in my career. And I look at this one like, yo, oh, you get this one, definitely a world title shot. And I hope you get it, man. And, uh...